I thought because I had that background, I'd be able to transit naturally and very easily. But I realized it was a very different ball game when you put two young people in a hawker store. I think everybody's first reaction is, oh, so young, know how to make kopi or not. But I realized that once you start serving other people, looking to take care of others who may not be as fortunate, then you get up in the morning, not for yourself, but for other people. That is why I, I get up and work. Yeah. And also because the coffee is good. Yeah, that's the bigger one. <laughs> My dad also never expected us to take over. He also knew it was very difficult. The weekends we had to help out. So that was the frustrating part because we didn't really like it and we weren't really good at it anyways. Whether it was service or the quality of his coffee, he would nitpick. And if we didn't do well, he would scold us. Sometimes if he wasn't feeling well, he'd be like, Oh, wait, wait, we're going to open my eyes today. I'm tired or I'm not comfortable. I remember waking up and I'm like, yes, and I'll go back to sleep. But the time we spent here and every time the way he would uh, interact with his customer, it was really the interaction and then the responses we got from the customer as well as being able to see he can provide for the family that I decided, okay, maybe I should try the trade. I thought because I had that background, I'd be able to transit naturally and very easily. But I realized it was a very different ball game when you had to do it every day. And there wasn't really much time for you to rest. When we started, my brother and I, cause we were still doing a lot of things ourselves. And I think we struggled for at least a year and a half before we got used to the rhythm and the flow and each other. So no. It was not easy. When you put two young people in a hawker store, I think everybody's first reaction is, oh, so young, know how to make kopi or not. I think we were still trying to get the taste right and a lot of customers didn't have the patience for that. I think we lost about half of our dad's regular, especially in the morning where there were a lot of regulars who would come and drink their morning cup. Every day in the beginning, I ask myself <laughs> why I'm here, waking up at 5, 4 a.m., coming to this hot place. Every day, I used to ask myself why. And then I pushed the thought away when we were busy, when we got into like the flow. It was an adrenaline rush when you work a slam during breakfast, during lunch. And I think it got quite addictive for me. I enjoyed the, the busyness. I enjoyed interacting with my customer, making new friends. I don't know. And it kind of became a responsibility after there was more tension on the hawker culture, on preserving the, the hawker community. So it became an added responsibility that we didn't really foresee. But I think now we're very willing to shoulder because we are young. So I feel like we do have the added role of preserving this Singaporean identity. So I think that has been a little bit of a motivation. We want to keep going, keep the culture alive, keep our brand alive, perhaps make it big out of Singapore, but one step at a time lah, yeah. I think even though we have a 80 odd year history in the business, the idea was always serving the community, serving the customer. And when it came to us, we also learned to serve the customers in this generation that are younger, maybe more technology savvy and that is what we have been doing 
which is to adapt to the changes that the environment requires. And that's always been something that my father has been telling us. But I realised that once you start, then you get up in the morning, not for yourself, but for other people. It can be your customer. It can also be the cleaner uncle who is working here, cleaning the table. You no, know, we are here, he has a job, you know, I help him in a sense. That is my goal. Not the money I get from him, but to serve him so that he's ready to take on something else. That is why I, I get up and work. Yeah. And also because the coffee is good. Yeah, that's the bigger one. <laughs>